So in extracting insights from the flood of data that customers are creating, companies face a number of organizational challenges. The first one is having enough people and the right caliber of people to actually be able to take that data, interpret it, and produce real insights. That's the first organizational challenge. It is not a simple task to take an enormous amount of customer-generated data and turn it into insights that the executive team can act upon. The second one is, is candidly identifying the problem to be solved. If you have an enormous repository of data that's coming from the consumer, which was not the situation five or ten years ago, um, matching that up against the problem that the business is trying to solve is no mean feat. As, as an example, to take data, the massive data on, on a consumer brand, uh, to give that to the VP of marketing or to the, the, the head of the business who's charged with building that brand, um, what they need to understand is the, uh, not only what people are saying about the data, but who are the more, more influential people within that, within that data stream, um, which are the sentiments that matter, which are the ones that are merely noise, uh, and which are, the ones, which are the consumers that are close to the point of purchase. So there's a whole decision-making process that needs to go on to understand the, uh, the real implications of consumer-generated data. The companies that create that deep understanding of the consumer and the segments within, within the consumer base are at a very significant advantage in terms of the product development decisions they make, the marketing decisions they make, and the customer service decisions they make. Those that don't invest, and when I say invest, I'm talking about the kind of investment that creates distinction. So it's having the best people, putting the resources behind it, and having it, it visible all the way up to the CEO and the board. Those that don't do that are at a disadvantage because they're not going to understand their consumer base as well. They're not going to be able to react as fast, and they're not going to be able to create the sort of consumer relationships or experiences that the others will. There are pretty significant differences in the way that B2C and B2B companies harness data from the web. The simple fact of the matter is B2C companies are more advanced. There are many companies who are generating their own uh, social media uh, capabilities, listening capabilities, uh, with third parties uh, and with uh, the leaders in the field, such as Nielsen and McKinsey. Uh, and there are, there are others who um, are purely outsourcing that, that, that functionality. And they tend to be significantly ahead of the B2B companies. There aren't all that many examples of B2B companies who are actually doing this aggressively and investing the same kind of uh, uh, financial resources and human capital to understand the, uh, the value, uh, the implications of, uh, of consumer-generated data on the web.